girl, you know, say you're pretty from your band Walk out, girl, you not try hard Them girl, you're not pretty in the real life You're pretty from the ground Hi guys, it's Cassie Veronica, as the YouTube name does say. And today I'm back at you guys with another video. Let me get myself all up in frame or whatever. Yes, yeah, so today I'm back at you guys with another video. Today's video is actually going to be a ColourPop unboxing. Now you guys know that I'm like, I love ColourPop to death. Like, and every time I make a video about ColourPop, I tell y'all I have FOMO, which is so true. But there was a palette that came out that is unlike any other that I think I've seen by ColourPop and I had to have it. So, if you guys want to see what palette I got, then go ahead and stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so the palette that I have that I'm unboxing for you guys is the Fame palette by ColourPop. Yes, I did go ahead and get that ridiculously expensive palette. And I say that because we're so used to ColourPop having like $16 palettes and $12 palettes and this one was 23 bucks. So, 23 or 22 bucks and I was like, mm. But I bought it because it's a cool tone palette and I feel like I need a cool tone palette in my life. I'm so used to being warm and neutrals and cool tones are like bomb. I don't know, I love cool tones on my skin. So I was like, you know what, let me get a palette that's all about cool tone. So I ended up buying it. So this is what it looks like packaging wise this is the packaging um and when i saw this packaging like literally guys the first thing that came to my mind was gem and the holograms now if you know anything about gem and the holograms i need you to leave me a star emoji at the bottom like because gem was life like gem was life i was obsessed with gem growing up and this just reminds me of the freaking gem i don't know why it reminds me of gem so much but Actually, I know why it reminds me of Jem so much. This blue and this purple, Jem. Like, it just reminds me of her. Ugh, obsessed. That made me even more obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, this is what the packaging looked like. It does have like holographic detailing to it. Um, it's a blue and purple. The purple is a little holographic. Um, and then the names of all the colors are on the back. Well, before I go ahead and show you guys what this is looking like, I want to name some things that happened with my order that could possibly happen to you if you do decide to purchase it based on watching this video so one when i got my palette there's a color in here which i will show you guys called extravaganza which is like a metallic um and extravaganza was not set properly in the pot um i thought initially it was like an error with the postman and that he probably dropped it crushed it but I'm like if that was the case then more than one color would probably be crushed or there'd be some denting on it there'll be some indication that it was dropped crushed or whatever the case may be but there were no there were no indications of it being dropped or crushed or any of um those things happening to it so upon like further looking at it i'm like let me see what's going on i realized that the color was still moist it was very very moist um and by a slight touch it started crumbling so what i'm assuming is that maybe too much liquid was used in the creation of this um particular batch so there may be a few people that get their palettes like mine and their color extravaganza is crumbling and all over the the palette um, and all I did was I just packed it back in there with my finger and I'm super careful with the palette as to not like drop it to cause it that the color to kind of come undone again um, or the shadow to come undone again so I've been like packing it in with my finger and it's been fine I used it today and it works amazingly so it's just a minor detail I thought I'd throw out there another thing is this palette i don't know if it was a russian production but um the palette's beautiful which you know what before i take the second detail i'm gonna show you the palette and then i can show you what's what i'm talking about so this is what the packaging looks like again super cute super like i don't know it just gives me like an 80s vibe super super cute uh, 80s early 90s type of vibe so i'm really digging the palette and on the back as you guys can see there are the names for the the shadows cute right that's what we like we like the names for the or at least i like my um palettes have the names on it and i prefer for the names to be actually underneath the shadows in the palette which color has started doing for a lot of their newer um eyeshadows so i'm like i'm cool with it Jazz, huh? now like i said you guys see the name so we're gonna go off of the top name here we're gonna start here 
Um, so this color here is center stage. So that means when I open the palette on this side, that first color here should be center stage. Follow me, follow me. All right, then we have Extra Extravaganza, my color that broke. Um, we also have, what is this? Showboats here. And then here we have Delirium. Now I'm gonna open the palette. This is the second issue I'm talking about. I'm gonna open the palette and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So based on this palette, when I flip it around, center stage should be here. Follow me, follow me. So remember how I said on the back of the palette, we're gonna close this, I'm gonna show you a month more, one more time because I want us to be on the same page. How that says, let's zoom in. How this says center stage, it says center stage is backwards. <laughs> All right, so now you see I'm on this side. I'm gonna put my finger on this side. We're gonna flip it around. So center stage should be in this first pot here. But when I open the palette, this color actually is labeled delirium. So like I said, I don't know who they had on shift production that day <laughs> and nothing against them, but whoever was like putting the pots in didn't put them in right. It's just like a whole little you know, it's an error, but it's not a huge error, but I just at least want to point that out that some people may get a palette that's like that, that you see that it has like one name on the back, but it's a different name on the front. So in all actuality, I don't know if this is really center stage or if this is really supposed to be the color delirium, but I'm gonna go with what's on here, hoping that this would be right compared to what's on the back. So I'm gonna name them as they are on the inside of the palette. Um, so if you see another video and they're naming it differently, I promise it's probably just an error with my palette, okay? So we're gonna go into the different colors. So let's zoom this puppy in. Focus, focus, awesome. So that color here is Delirium. We have Showboat Extravaganza, which is my color that crushed and that's super, super soft. Um, and then here we have Center Stage. It's so confusing with the back saying something completely different. I'm trying to read it backwards for you guys. So this is the most dazzle, razzle, razzle dazzle, and stardom. So that's the second line. Going down to the third line, we have celeb, debutante, clubhouse, and privy. And starting down here, we have a lifestyle. Oops. Eh, wait, I just break that one with my finger. Sorry, guys. Oh, so pretty. All right. We have lifestyle, piece of me, which I took a piece of, <laughs> blase, and posh. All right, so for my makeup today, I actually used lifestyle in the crease. Let's zoom in. I'm living my best life. So for my eyeshadow today, I used Lifestyle in the crease, Outer V, inner, um, outer v and in the crease. Um, I put on my actual lid, Posh. And then on my inner corners, I used Extravaganza. The color I told you guys was giving us um, some issues. So that's what I used under my lower lash line or underneath my eye, I used Lifestyle with a little bit of posh. So that's what I did to get this eyeshadow look today. Oh guys, I forgot. One more thing that I did get when I got the palette um, was ColourPop's birthday wish. So this came out, um, I guess every year they give a limited edition um, eyeshadow. God, I lost my word, super shock shadow. And this year it was this baby. So I don't know if there was something wrong with the manufacturing because now I didn't even open this yet, but now me opening it, it's like cracked. Like, let me zoom in on this. Oh my God, it literally was cracked and it just fell out. Let me zoom in on this. Oh my God, it literally was cracked and it just fell out. Hold on. I'm a little peeved about that. I opened it and it's and I'm telling you it's whatever they're using for this type of shimmer something's wrong with it because it was literally just in there and it just fell out as I was getting ready to show you guys this how ridiculous 
and I don't know if I should tell them this and have them send me another one, but I don't want to be like that complaining type, but do you guys see this? Like a whole half of my fucking shadow just fell out. This was free, get it, got it good, but that doesn't mean because it was free, like this should be fucking happening. Like, I can't believe this. And I'm not sure if I'm the only person that this is happening to, and I think it's because it's still wet. Like, it's very much so moist, and I think it's the moisture is not allowing it to stick. Like, the whole fucking thing just fell out. That is out of control. I've never had this issue with... Oh, my God. Yeah, I just broke and fell all over my floor. I've never had this issue with ColourPop before, and I'm sure it's pretty as hell, but who ever, like, came up with this formula, they fucked up. So, this is what it looks like. So annoyed. That's what it looks like. It's like a gold shadow that has like flickers of color. So it has like um, your purples and things of that nature. So let me turn down the light and see if that helps. You see it better, yeah. So it has flickers of colors in it. It's like, it's nice, but the fact that it literally just broke is really peeving me out. Like I'm too fucking annoyed right now. The thing I think is starting to happen is I feel like they're rushing a lot of their shit. They keep releasing new, 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 new shit and it's causing there to be an issue with the way it's being made. Like, it's only so fast that humans can work because they're, they're all done by hand. It's not as if they were done by a machine. Like, someone literally pours everything in, so measures it out, pours it, uses the handheld mixer thing, um, the automatic mixer sh situation. Then they put the tubes and they, they it like, for the shadows, people are hand making the shadows, so it's like, but they're hand making the shadows and I think it's causing like because they're mass producing so many things and releasing new things over and over again. I don't know if it's because of that why there's like a mess up with this shadow but I'm a little annoyed and they're very lucky that I love them and they are super expensive. I mean inexpensive but even then I don't think that should be happening so I'm a little annoyed about that but I still love the palette. It was amazing on the eyes. It's, ColourPop always has amazing products. I'm just so shocked because I've never, I've heard the other people have issues sometimes, but I'm never, ever, 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 ever have an issue with my shipping, with my order taking too long to come, with things breaking and being dry. Like I've never had that issue. So I guess because it's happening to me now and I was a little spoiled by them, I'm like, oh, hell no. But you know what, to be honest, it's all good. It's still usable. I just packed it back in there and I'll just be careful when I use it. That's all it is to it. But like I said, I don't think it'll ever happen to me again because it's never happened to me before. So I don't think it'll be like a recurring thing for ColourPop, especially if more than one person has had this issue. I'm pretty sure they're gonna straighten it out and fix it. So yeah, not too worried about it. But I just thought I would let you guys know, or I was trying to actually show you the shadow before it fell the fuck apart. But that was great that it happened in real time. So you see, I'm not making this shit up. Like. Life is crazy. Okay. Okay.